Now, Namaskar, Namaste to you all. Here, just we are going to study again the poem from Grade 9 English from Unit 12. Now, can you guess which poem we are going to study today? Yes, that has been given in previous time in Word 1. And here, there are two ladies no and having seen the picture certainly we guessed yes the name of the poem is madam and her madam now he is the writer of that poem and can you guess the name of the picture of the writer certainly you are very clever he is langston hughes now let me say about him about the poet. Langston Hughes born February 1st, 1902 in Dolph, Dolphin, Missouri, U.S. Died May 22nd, 1967 in New York. Was a no, singular voice in American poetry writing with vivid imaginary and jazz influenced rhythm about the everyday black experience in the United States. While best known for his modern, free from poetry, with superficial simplicity, maxing deeper symbolism, Hughes also worked in fiction, drama, and film. Hughes purposefully mixed his own experiences into his work, setting him apart from other major black poets of the era. And placing him at the forefront of the literary movement known as the Harlem Renaissance. From the early 1920s to the late 1930s, this explosion of poetry and other work by black American profoundly changed the country's artistic landscape. Now in this way, you can study more and more about the poet and their background of the poem. No, this has not been given in many and more videos. That's why, no, be careful and try to listen the background of the poem. No, Langston uses poem, Madam and Her Madam is from a 12 poem series, The Madam to You, which offers a character study of a woman named Alveta K. Johnson, who is always insisting that people call her Madam Alveta K. Johnson or Madam Alveta K. Johnson as she insists on being called by all persons other than her family and friends is the main character in a number of comic poems written by Langston Hughes. She is a middle-aged no, woman of uncertain means. She is resourceful, self-confident, sassy and streetwise. Thus, she faces down the world, including her lover's past and present, her landlord, her insurance man who comes to collect his premiums, other bill collectors, or her self righteous minister, anxious to save her independent, fun loving soul. No, she is a fun loving soul. The poet wrote the poem in the summer of 1943. Having seen the pitiable condition of the black who were used uh, as servant by the white. Here this is the main theme of the poem that white people no, used to work. White people uses black one as their servant. Here the fictitious character madam is very courageous and brave. Each Poem in the Madam to You. Sherry uses a personality quirk of Alveta to convey some aspect of her character. Under the titled Madam to You, there are 12 poems. No? Among them, Madam and Madam is one of them. No, they are Madam's calling cards, Madam's past history, Madam and her Madam, Madam and the rent man, Madam and the number writer. Madam and the phone bill, Madam and the 
charity child madam and the fortune teller madam and the wrong visitor madam and the minister madam and the might have been and madam in this way there are altogether 12 poems now here reading second look at the picture below and guess the answers to the following questions these are the pre one what are the two women doing here one is drinking tea or coffee and other is no washing dishes yes one woman is drinking tea or coffee and the other is washing dishes in the kitchen now what do you think the relationship is better the two women what do you think the relation is between the two women no I think the relation between the two women is owner and servant. Owner and servant. Yes. Now here, madam and her madam. I worked for a woman. She wasn't mean. But she had a 12 room house to clean. Here second line, rams with fourth. Yes. Now, had to get breakfast, dinner and supper too. Then take care of our children when I go through. Second line again. Here in second stanza. To and through. Here also this line rhymes with that one. The meaning of mean. Mean means unkind, very bad tempered and cruel. Tukshi Nepali. Similarly go through. The meaning of go through is to manage to do or complete something. In this way again in other stanza. Was iron and a scrub. Walk the dog around. It was too much. Nearly broke me down. Around and down. Similarly, the meaning of a scrub. Here, I said, Madam, can it be you trying to make a pack horse out of me? Be me. No? In this way. The meaning of a scrub. Here, she opened her mouth. She cried, oh no, you know Alveta, I love you so. No, here, this line rhymes with that one. No, so, oh, no. The meaning of a scrub, I told you, third time. To rub something hard in order to clean it, especially using a stiff brush soap and water. Saap garno. Yes. After that, pack horse. Horse that is used to carry heavy load, bari boke kukhoda. No? And then I said, Madam, that may be true, but I will be dogged if I love you. Here, that true and you. Now, written by Langston Hughes, and here the meaning of dogged is not giving up easily, you know, pachua. No? Pachari pachari hidden. Hey, not giving up easily. Sadaran tarikale usla chodna pani na sakine. Now here, the meaning of madam, as you know, a formal and polite way of speaking to a woman, mohodaya or saiva. And now let me discuss, no, one by one, line by line, about the poem madam and her madam. Now here, I walked for a, for a woman. She wasn't mean, but she had a 12 room house to clean. Now here, she is madam. And she is the mouth speak, no, of the writer. Mouthpiece of the writer. No, I means she worked for a woman. For whom? Yes, for her. She is madam. And she is madam. But... She is her madam. No, owner and servant. That's why madam and her madam. I worked for a woman. She is working for a woman. She wasn't mean. She wasn't mean. No, not unkind. But she had a 12 room house to clean. How many house? How many rooms she has to clean? Yes, 12. Yes, there are 12 rooms. And she has to clean all these rooms here. Similarly, second one, 
had to get breakfast breakfast also she had to cook breakfast dinner supper no breakfast early food no dinner main food and breakfast no food before going bed to then take care of her children when i got through no had to get breakfast here she is cooking breakfast for madam for whom for madam yes for her for madam now dinner and supper to then take care of her children she has to care her children that madam children when i go through no another way of caring children also she has to do that kind of works then take care of her children when i go through when i complete all my work similarly again wash wash means what yes this is wash washing cloth iron no ironing here ironing she has to and a scrub a scrub means yes this is also a kind of a scrub no and another picture also makes you clear that she is scrubbing here flow a scrub no she has to wash iron and a scrub walk the dog around no here walk the dog around after finishing these works no it was too much nearly broke me down no here after doing that these kinds of heavy works one after another she felt tired and exhausted no broke me down similarly no i said madam can it be you trying to make a pack horse out of me no pack horse like that horse pack horse out of me no what do you want here she opened her mouth then madam opened her mouth and she cried oh no you know alveta i love you so i love you very much no now here i said madam again that servant said madam that may be true that may be true but i will be dogged if i love you in this way written by langston uses no let me say a little bit critical analysis analysis of the poem madam and her madam utilizes irony to convey the delicate conflict between a wealthy white woman and the black woman alveta whom she uses to complete the main tasks of the household uses employs the voice of a black woman in this poem using the first person narration to allow the reader inside the inner struggle of the plight of many black women of this era in the same way the poem begins by noting that alveta doesn't work for a mean woman likely the wealthy woman is obvious to the amount of work it takes to complete the tasks she assigns she has never had to do the work herself cleaning a 12 room house at the time the poem was set before the civil rights era also indicates a great deal of wealth this would have been an extremely large house for this period now the speaker is taxed with cooking all meals for the family and for taking care of all children she takes care of all the laundry of each family member without a washer and is even responsible for making sure the dog is walked to get enough exercise similarly it is too much means the speaker breaks she finally comforts her white employer about the workload but is careful to do it with a sense of humor asking if she is trying to make a work house work horse out of her written far before the civil rights era the speaker knows 
she could face danger if she uses an improper tone the tone of the white woman is a dramatic dismissal she cries that she loves alberta but offers no offer further assistance for her work and of course she is thankful for alberta after all it is through alberta's work that she can enjoy a life of great leisure in the same way in the end we hear the speaker's voice as she tells her employer but i will be dogged if i love you means one has to imagine that these lines were delivered with the same tone of humor because an outright conf- confrontation would not have been a wise delivery she thus conveys her frustration and makes her employer aware of her need for additional employees or a reduction in the workload by using the same dramatic yet ironically honest tone mimicking her employer now here just we are going to do some exercises match the following words phrases in column a with their meaning in column b no a number mean it means four four means what unkind no get through no six number to manage to do or complete something no dinner seven number the main meal of the day breakdown third number cease to function or collapse no packer second number a horse that is used to carry heavy loads madam that five number a formal and polite way of speaking to a woman and dogged no not giving up easily answer the following questions was the madam really not mean why does the speaker say she wasn't mean yes the madam was really not mean as she had no ulterior motive against alveta rather than just finishing chores no ulterior motive means what kind of motive the ulterior motive is usually one that is only beneficial to that person आफ्नो लागि जुन छ नि मात्र चाहिँ कसरी फाइदा हुन्छ त्यस्तो प्रकारको मोटिभलाई मोटिभेसनलाई मात्र अल्टेरियर मोटिभ भनिन्छ यस न अगेन मेक अ लिस्ट अफ वर्क द्याट द मेड ह्याड टु डु द मेड ह्याड टु क्लिन रुम्स कुक फुड टेक केयर अफ हर चिल्ड्रेन वास आइरन स्क्रब एन्ड वाक द डग अराउन्ड व्हाट मेड हर नियरली ब्रेक डाउन न the various household works like cleaning washing cooking and other tasks made her nearly break down now here how did the madam respond to the maid's question the madam responded quite lovingly to the maid's question saying that she loved her lot the poem above the presents presents an example of one type of discrimination what kinds of discrimination are in its existence in your society discuss no here you can read it and if you like to write from youtube then certainly you are welcomed you can copy from here similarly this is also a second page of that question no and similarly this is the third one this is not too long no the size of font because of the size of size of font it seems a little being bit long one no pronunciation find the following homonyms in a dictionary and write their different meaning note how the words are pronounced too homonyms each of two or more words having the same spelling or pronunciation but different meaning and origins it means in nepali anek arthi shabda no here address address means euta thegana pani huncha ra arko address matlab sambodhan pani huncha yes thegana ra arko sambodhan yo dui wada meaning bhayo ani baki eser padnu hola hai ani arko cha band ब्यांड मिन्स एवटा के होता बाजा बजाने बैंड वाला रो हो कपाल में लगने बैंड हाथ में जो बैंड लगा हम रिंग जस्ते भो जो बैंड पार्टी एटा है 
यो संगीत संगीतकारहरु को जुन दल हो त्यो अर्को यो ब्यान्ड मतलब त्यो ब्यान्ड को मतलब के भयो यो ब्यान्ड कपालमा बाँध्ने है फिटा त्यो एउटा शब्द को दुईवटा एउटै शब्द अनि उच्चारण पनि सेम तर अर्थ फरक फरक ठमा फरक फरक त्यस्तै गरेर अब अर्को ब्याट ब्याट मिन्स यो ब्याट एउटा खेल्ने क्रिकेट खेल्ने अर्को एउटा यो ब्याट है यो राति जुन हामी अ यसलाई हेर्छ यो ब्याट अर्को करेन्ट एउटा करेन्ट मिन्स वर्तमान है करेन्ट सिचुएसन वर्तमान र अर्को भनेको इलेक्ट्रिक करेन्ट वाटर करेन्ट यो करेन्ट प्रवाह त्यस्तै एक्सप्रेस व्यक्त गर्नु र अर्को एक्सप्रेस भने तीव्र स्पीड पनि हुन्छ एक्सप्रेस ट्रेन हैन अर्को फियर मिन्स साफ इट्स भेरी फियर साफ क्लियर क्लीन एन्ड अर्को फियर भने मेला पनि सेम एउटा वर्ड को दुईवटा माने काइन्ड प्रकार पनि हुन्छ टाइप पनि हुन्छ काइन्ड दयालु पनि हुन्छ लाई मन्ज पल्टिनु पनि नो टु बी ओर पुट योरसेल्फ इन अ फ्ल्याट पोजिसन सो दैट यू आर नोट स्टैंडिंग ओर सिटिंग र अर्को लाई भने फल्सहुड झुट म्याच मिन्स म्याच खेल पनि हुन्छ र म्याच भनेको दुईवटाले मिलाउनु पनि हुन्छ है त एउटा ल हेर्नु म्याच मतलब टूर्नामेन्ट र अर्को पियर इक्विवेलेंट एकदम मिलाउने म्याच गर्छ नि यो यो सँग यो म्याच गर्छ भनेको पियर इक्विवेलेंट अनि पाउन्ड पाउन्ड मतलब एउटा जुन छ युनिट अफ मनी इन द युके वर्थ 100 पेन्स 100 पेन्स को यो एक पाउन्ड हुन्छ युनिट अफ वेट अपन द ब्लड त्यो पनि हो अ प्लेस वेयर व्हीकल्स दैट हैव बीन पार्क्ड इलीगली आर केप्ट अंटिल देयर ओनर्स पे टु गेट देम ब्याक र एउटा यस्तो पनि पाउन्ड मतलब यस्तो ठाउँ जहाँ चाहिँ नि गलत ठाउँमा पार्क गरेको गाडीहरुले लिएर राख्छ यस्तो ठाउँ जहाँ गलत ठाउँमा पार्किङ गरेको गाडीहरुले ल्याएर राख्छन् र त्यसपछि फाइन तिराउँछ अर्को त्यसैको पाउन्ड मतलब एनिमल्स विदाउट ओनर मतलब छाडा गए वस्तुहरु रिंग रिंग मतलब ए अ पीस अफ ज्वेलरी दैट यू वियर ऑन योर फिंगर इयर इटीसी इयर रिंग र भरमा टेलिफोन रिंग न मेकिंग साउन्ड रिंगिंग बेल भन्छ नि त्यसको त्यस कारण राइट राइट मान ठीक पनि दिस इज करेक्ट राइट र अधिकार इट्स माय राइट अथोरिटी र साइड पनि राइट साइड दाहिने रक चट्टान पनि र रक मान बाजा पनि हैन अ टाइप अफ लर्ड पपुलर म्युजिक डेभलप्ड इन द 1960s विथ अ स्ट्रोंग बीट प्लेड ऑन द इलेक्ट्रिक गिटार्स एंड ड्रम न स्प्रिंग मन बसंत ऋतु स्प्रिंग र अर्को झरना पानी का मुहान पनी और twisted piece of wire that can be pulled but यो पनी एस्प्रिंग है हो यो एरनों से इसको मेंने a quick sudden jump upward or forward है यो पनी आगाड़ी तिरा जम्प करनू tender मने को delicate पनी हुँच और अरको मने को कुने कमपनी ले जुन tender भर चा नी कसे लाई परस्ताव अधवा निवे दीता यस तो हुँच न grammar मा हाँ here fill in the blanks with a n or where necessary a n or a n d where necessary if no article is necessary put a cross no a number cross lunch n a b ma antas pach a antas pach peri da ani da ani da ani da ani da aba अर्को यहाँ स्पेस को गाड़ी में द मून को गाड़ी में द सिनेमा को गाड़ी में द टेलीविजन को गाड़ी में द र यहाँ टॉम आता है ना बट आई वाच अ लॉट ऑफ फिल्म ऑन टेलीविजन यह नदीदा पंथिक र यहाँ चाहिए ना बैग्यानी का विस्कार भाग के द दीदा पंथिक नो यू हैड नाइस डे और नाइस डे नारानी the breakfast के ही पनी हुई ना रे यहाँ पनी के ही हुई ना यहाँ पर अब और कुत्ती रा writing second write a short biography of Nepali national poet Madhav Prasad Kimire based on the 
outlines given below. यो चाहिँ कुलु दिएको छ यसको आधारमा हामीले त्यसको जीवनी लेख्नु पर्ने हुन्छ त यहाँ लेख्या छ अनि यहाँबाट तपाईहरुले मन लाग्यो भने सार्न सक्नुहुन्छ है यो सबै हो उसको जीवनी फेरि यहाँ छ फाइन्ड इन्फर्मेसन अबाउट एनी वन अफ द पपुलर पर्सनालिटीज इन योर लोकालिटी नोट इम्पोर्टेन्ट uh, note important detail of his her life and develop a biography. I have done Gajendra Narayan Singh from Shaptari. Now here the clue and on the basis of clue we have done the we have written biography of Gajendra Narayan Singh. Now you can read this yourself. And if your teacher no, gives you as your project work, then you can copy it from here. Similarly, extra bit. Yes, this is very funny one. No, here idiom, uh, an idiom is a commonly used expression whose meaning does not relate to the literal meaning of its words. A hot potato, a tattoo potato, yes, a controversial subject or difficult project that is best avoided. For example, tax increase will be a hot potato in this election. In your tax kujati increase bakucha, you in an election ma, you kebisha kachoda, hot potato. Other controversial subject or difficult project. In the same way, other one here. Tall story, what does it mean? Tall story man, a story that cannot be believed easily. You cannot believe everything he says since most of them are just tall stories. No, write all, sorry, night all, rati ko chane all. Yes, come on, it's not enough. Yes, come on, a person who habitually stays up late and is active at night. No, no pain, no gain. It means to make an effort in order to get the desired result. Miss the boat means lose the opportunity to do or get something. Put a bug in his ear means to speak to one in order to impart some particular information, suggestion, hint or warning. Now, I have been putting a bug in his ear for months about what I wanted for my birthday. Similarly, C I to I. No, to share the same position or opinion. No, his mother and I don't see don't see eye to eye about his decision to drop out of college. Now give it a short means try to to try something. Kill two birds with one stone means to achieve two goals with a single effort. Yes, thank you. The end.